Stephanie Rawlings Blake said uh, she gave some leeway because of how big this storm was, but that's over. We're on Ricerstown Road, and this is what city officials are calling a gateway corridor, and it's one of the areas where city code enforcement officials will be focusing their efforts. So come tomorrow, if you're a homeowner and your sidewalk still looks like this, you could face a $50 fine. When you take the bus and you can't get over these piles, it makes it real difficult. But people say they still have to get to where they need to go, and that can be dangerous. Basically, you walk in the streets where they have plowed. A lot of places they haven't, but what can you do? Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake says code enforcement inspectors will be checking to make sure sidewalks are clear in the city's business districts and gateway corridors. Businesses must clear their sidewalks as citizens um, are, are trying to get back to work, trying to get back to normal. And on our gateways, as the roads open up, we need to ensure that our uh, pedestrians can use the sidewalks. If your sidewalk isn't clear tomorrow, you could face a fine. The mayor is asking people to help elderly neighbors and others that are unable to remove the snow piled up on the sidewalk in front of their home. The goal is in no way to issue citations. The goal is to make sure if we have pedestrians that are trying to get to a bus stop or trying to get to other means of transportation, if we have once school open, kids that are trying to get to school, we don't want them walking in the streets. So the fine for business owners is $100, and again, that fine for homeowners is $50, and those code enforcement inspectors will be out starting tomorrow. Reporting live from Racerstown Road, Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News. Vanessa, thank you. Well, the mayor's office says crews are still working around the clock to address side streets, but that it will take time. We found some neighborhoods who haven't seen the trace of a snowplow yet. Frustrated residents in this Locust Point neighborhood say the idea of imposing fines for the sidewalks just isn't fair. And the sidewalks, and then they're going to say, oh, we're going to find you. How can you find me for my sidewalk when you didn't even do the whole street? You stopping people from going to school, from work, you slowing down people's lives. We were stuck in the house because we just got back from out of town. We couldn't even go to the market. The mayor did point out that some neighborhoods are a higher priority when it comes to fines and say they're working on getting it to all the side streets as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm.